Hello and welcome to the Lord Show with your regular host, Megan Obulele Ibe. I believe you guys are enjoying your weekend as usual as today. Oh, we thank God the restriction is uh, over and then we can move freely now. We give God the glory and honor for that. Today we have a dynamic guest with us on the studio. Mm, should I say something? Or oh, I should allow her to know, introduce herself. I think it will be based on the way. First, I have to introduce our mommy in the house, Mrs. Sandra Fetting, a boy cultural mediator and uh, the vice president of Nigerian Women Association, Verona. With me, Veronica Atisobu on the studio with me. You are welcome to the studio. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. Mama Sandra Fetera, but you are welcome also. Thank you. For she's our you. mama, she's our mother in the house. So today, as I said earlier, I have with me Veronica Atisobu. She is a contestant for the post of a councillor, no? Consilio Comunale, head of Verona. So I would want, I think it's better she, would, she tells us what her mission is. I don't want to say something because I know my job is to ask questions and give accurate information to the general public. But she's here with us on the studio. I think it's better we hear from her what she has for us today. Veronica, once again, you are welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Veronica, in a few seconds, tell us about yourself. Allora, buonasera a tutti, mi dà con me. Io sono Veronica e ho 28 anni. Sono nata qui a Verona e ho origini del Togo. E ho studiato scienze politiche dove mi sono laureata a pieni voti, dopodiché ho lavorato un po' in prefettura e adesso lavoro in banca. Sono anche una delle cofondatrici e presidente dell'associazione Afro-Veronesi. E come dicevano prima, ho deciso di candidarmi come consigliera comunale per le prossime elezioni che ci saranno qui a Verona il 12 giugno. Congratulations! Her name is Veronica Atisobe, she is from Togo, but born in Italian. Uh, she is uh, the uh, main founder of Afro Veronese. She said she decided to take part in, in uh, politics and to be voted for as a councillor uh, in Comun di Verona. Thank you, Mrs. Sandra Fetterabo. No, as I said, Ella, that's her work. She's a mediatrician, so that's what she's doing for our beloved sister. Uh, Veronica, you were born here? Yes, I was born here. <laughs> From my research, you are 28 years old. Yes. And you studied political science. Yes. How was your growing up like in Italy? It was not easy because uh, I was grew up in an African family and then I go out with uh, people in race here. Yeah? So um, initially to bring my original and also the, the custom of here, yeah? mm -hmm. it was not easy but uh, with association with uh, other people like me, it was easy, easy. to yeah, accept my origin, mm -hmm. to be glad to be an African mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, from what you said, you said from the onset, from the beginning, it was not easy. But with the help of associating, yeah. you were able to integrate, you were able to meet. Yeah. Right? That's good. And uh, we still have good. Okay. You graduated 2019 yeah. in, Verona. in Verona, okay. And from my research, you're a banker. You work with the bank yes. sector now. Before then, was there any working experience? Yes, I work for Prefectura with a migration office mm. when I can give information for people who come here and don't know how to apply for the documents. Mm. So this is, it was a, a well experience, a good experience, but. Uh, um, I saw more difficult from uh, people come here and uh, from people who work uh, there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Working with the prefectura, seeing your, you know, your dear people, your color, how was the experience? Um, I was so happy to be there because uh, I, I can uh, feel what the, what's the, the difficult words for mm -hmm. that. 
and uh, you don't have any document, yeah. the stress and all. Don't, not uh, can uh, ask for uh, a work or simple to where to where who, who lived. I don't know if it's yeah, correct. yeah, it's correct. And so um, I was there, but I can help more because the law, the law guiding yes, you, will not permit yeah, you to do. Me to do nothing. I can understand. And so also the colleague, they don't feel the situation because it's their country. Yeah, yeah, they have yeah, their documents, yeah. so they don't know the stress that we are so, going through. I can understand where you are coming from. The difficult just for us an appointment, no? Uh, to write something. Mm. I saw, I saw. <laughs> It's some other things, things, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Many things. Many things. things. and um, maybe it's one of the points that uh, I want to bring in Comune is uh, to um, uh, render it to more easy this information, mm. but also um, as people who can do mediation no? in the office because the office. there more don't talk English or other languages and. Is difficult. Yes. So, one of the change you you have in mind mm -hmm. is to not give information to render yeah. help to the mind, you know, to the immigrants. Yeah. And that's, that's good. Thank you very much. Uh, do you think this is the right time for you to go into politics? I don't know if there is a right time. No, within you, you should know. You have age. Yeah. So. Um, this is an experience that I have not uh, think about it because uh, it's not easy to imagine that uh, a black woman can be that. You know? So when they asked me, I was there thinking, no, it's not the place for me. Uh, we live in a city where racism is. It's much. It's, it's on the high side. Yes. So. Uh, I have think about, I uh, ask for, for my friend, for my associates, association, mm -hmm. what do you think about that? They say to me, yeah, it's okay, you are okay for the post. Yes. That's good. And then, uh, you, you, your party, that you belong to the, the party of uh, Tomasi. Yes. Tomasi. What prompts you to go into that? Because uh, there are a lot of parties that yeah. lack, have no contest uh, election, like the one of Tosi. You have other uh, political parties as well, but why do you choose to be with Masi? It convinced me the the person, not the listener, because uh, he wants to know our problem. He come to me, ask me, and tell me how can I? I can help you people. So it was so um, human, no? Because uh, he asked me to bring people to to come there and talk with them, and so. I don't see nothing in other list of activity mm -hmm. um, that they come to me or to other people, people. to just know the, the problem we are facing. Yes. But to him, it was not just human. It was so true, it was human. 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 Yeah. That is, it has feelings for non for immigrants. Yeah. No? Do you think it is not a political? Mm -hmm. Uh, how do I put it? Mm -hmm. No, when they are um, doing their politics, no uh, campaigning, mm -hmm. they use different ways, different strategies, no, to bring immigrants, you know, not to vote for them. Do you think that's not what of? Uh, that's I not. I don't think you so. Don't think I, so? I saw from other party, but uh, it was one of of my um, award award to be award because. More uh, politicians come there when yeah. it's the election, you know, and then when the election finish, mm -hmm. they, 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 the the relationship yeah, is closed. Close. When uh, so I say as I so say as yes. we that uh, I'm not a person who help you to come there and then to go they will drop us. I want to there is a continuation. Of if course, also you lose. Oh, that continuation to, yes, should be yeah, there. To help us oh. and uh, create a project, a long term project. Good. Yes. That was thought to a few. So, uh, if the, 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 the reverse is the case, the relationship should continue, yeah. you know? So, that's one of the questions. 
a lot of people have been asking, do you think Veronica can bridge the gap? Do you think this the party can bridge the gap between we and the host country? Because to me, the societal acceptance is not really there. You know? I know we are here now, I don't want to use words that I don't know. We know you were born here and you already said it, that your growing up was somehow difficult, if not for the help of association and all. I think we go on a quick break now and when we come back, we'll come back again. <laughs> Welcome back. Stay on the Lord Show with your regular host, Megan Abulele Ibe. Stay with us on the studio is Veronica Atisebo. So we are hoping that June 12th, you know, we all come out. To me, it's women supporting women. We just need to come out in mass to support her. She's here to bridge the gap. She's here to change the narratives. So whatever it takes, we just have to be there with her by the grace of God. So Veronica... I think uh, we are almost done anyway. As a banker, why the shift? You just want to go into politics now from your, no? Uh, from my, the bank? My job continues to be. Uh, Con yeah. <laughs> is it tax? Yeah, it's tax. No problem. No, no problem. Okay. Oh, okay. No, well, no, we can continue. There's okay. no problem. So, I want to ask him the son of it, Robert, why are you supporting Veronica? Is it because we have the same color or...? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, though I knew her not quite long, but I've been hearing about what she has been doing. Uh, a, a little girl like this coming out to fight what we that get better them cannot fight. Mm -hmm. When we came, we came just like we don't we don't know our left from our right. Let's be frank. Mm -hmm. We miss many things. Let me, I'm sorry to chip in this. I, you've been here for how long? I've been here for almost 29 years. And she is just 28. 28 years. Which means I came a year and she, she was born. born. And she's still changing her narrative yes, now. Yes. Good. Because when we came, we came with a different dream of coming to work money and go. But this is a child born here that really went to school here, meet up with the children of her age, and she not saw the difference. What we saw, we could not fight for. She now stood up to say, yes, this thing has and, to stop. And she has fought in many ways, even creating a group, afro veronese children born here, or children brought from home, making life easy for them. It's a great achievement. achievement for her and for us. So when I saw her dream, I believe I have to support her dream. That was why I came up and said that I will support her. So what do you have for the general public? Because you are supporting and you don't know what they have in mind. For the general public, please let's support Veronica. She's a young girl. We may not look at her with her age, but her dream for the, to the table. Our dream for African race is more broad than what we that came So She was born here. She schooled here. She knew every corner of Italy, not to talk of Verona. That is why I say Veronica for Verona. That That's is great. what I always say. That's yes. great. <laughs> Veronica for <laughs> Verona. <laughs> So she's born here, let's support her, let's uh, vote for her. So that our children coming will have somebody to be their to. mentor. She's not only fighting for herself, she's fighting for the generation to come. And she's, uh, by God's grace, she's going to break that record. So that our children that are born at, uh, with, uh, uh, during her age, or are there to be born, will not be looking that aspect of racism and be locked in. She has been breaking the walls to get to where she is. So she, should, she is a model to our children. And we should applaud her for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Sandra Fetirabo. Uh, Veronica, I have this question for you. Now you are in the race of politics. Mm -hmm. What do you have for the young ones behind you? Because now you have, you have seen, no? what it takes to go in 
facile, difficile, non lo so, solo per ecco, you alone, what I'm trying to say, if it is easy, it is not easy, she alone can tell the ones behind her that this, is, this thing is easy, this thing is, is difficult, so what do you have for no, those that are scared, a lot of people probably might have wanted to be in, like she said now, but maybe there is something that will scare them back, the Italians, probably, I, I don't know if it involves money, finance and all. So what do you have for them to say maybe mm -hmm. this thing is easy, it's not the way, you know, the narrative or the way they are saying it out today? I think in life nothing is easy. Um, it becomes easy if uh, everybody works together. So um, I need that uh, people who believe in my dream mm -hmm. can help me also to can be to this dream. Okay. So, like they said before, I work uh, very much here in Verona mm -hmm. to to create something for yourself. Yes, not also for myself. For the for community. The community. So I think if the, the election is not be good, I continue to work. To work. This is my, um, I don't know. Your dream? Yes. In other words, you are trying to say it is good to be self-empowered. Yes. You empower yourself for the future. Uh, the, the result is right, the result is wrong. You have to start yeah. your grand as Veronica. Yes. Life goes on. So thank you very much for that. Yeah. Uh, do you have any question? No, I don't really so much have any question. Uh, I, I've seen her and I've studied her dream and I've seen that the dream is not just a little one. Presently, she's organizing, she's fighting for the citizenship of children born here. Because she knew she got to 18 before she got that citizenship. And she knew that a child born today is supposed, to. supposed to have it. And she has been fighting for it. For so I believe when she gets there, those are going to be the number one priority. The number one priority. So any parents here that is capable of or that is auto, uh, uh, that is documented and can be able to vote, let's support her. Let's support her because her dream is not for herself. It's not for her, our children. Yet of both. She has gotten her citizenship. Exactly. She didn't say because she has gotten her own, let every other one be come the way she came. But she is fighting for it for the generation to come. And I believe by God's grace, her name will be written with gold in Komu de Verona. Amen. When she gets there. Thank you, Mrs. Sandra Rabo. And uh, Veronica will want to say a very big thank you for honoring our invitation. On behalf of the Casa, uh, Casa de Ramian group, where we say thank you for honoring invitation, and they will have this uh, little gift for you from African Fashion and Style Group. Wow. We present it to you. We say kudos, congratulations, and have more blessings to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you appreciate our little gift. Okay. <laughs>